Give the one you like. Are you getting this? Daily means you will never be a glutton. You stop hoarding. You know why God will give you plenty? Because you are a good dispenser. Write that down please. It's very important. Why would God give you plenty? Say it. Because I am a good dispenser. If he can get it through you, he'll always get it to you. That's the true principle. If you, if you block it and say, this is mine, God stops giving. Plenty is for administration and dispensation. You keep giving it, God gives you plenty. You start saving it, God shuts it off. And what you have begins to rot. What a prayer. Father, give me everything I need to make bread today. And whatever's extra, that means it's for someone else. So when he gives me extra, my first question, who is this for? Because I, I don't got what I need. Who is this for? And you go looking for who you're supposed to deliver it to. Because the Bible never says, Angels shall give into your bosom. It says men shall give into your bosom. Someone is holding some stuff right now, maybe in this building, that's supposed to be yours. But they like it so much, they think it's theirs. So now a little extra bonus, financially, you think is yours. God said, no, I gave that to you. So you, There's someone in the meeting you're supposed to meet before you leave. I want you to shove it to them. Release it to them. If I can trust you with little, he says, I'll trust you with more. Friends, that's how we pray to protect against gluttony. Next Sunday, Pastor Richard is going to be dealing with this next statement. And forgive us. And forgive us. While you're asking for God's blessing upon the community, you better make sure you are okay on the inside. Forgive us. It's going to be powerful. Because prayer is only possible when you have a clear conscience. Close your Bibles. I still feel this strong spirit here today. God is saying, some of you have been holding up because you're afraid. I want to pray for everyone who wants to do something and you are afraid to act. The Spirit of God never gives you a prophetic understanding unless He wants to bring change. If you are here today and you are wanting to do something for a long time but you've been waiting until you see more, this is the day. On this Sunday, you tell God, I'm going to act. If that's you, stand up on your feet and come down front right now. God, I, I, I wanted to buy this property. I want to go to school. I want to invest in this building. I want to start this thing. I want to do something, Lord. But I've been waiting until I see enough. He says, you got enough. You know how to pray now. Lift your hands and follow the pattern. Tell the Lord to bless everybody who came up with you right now. Our Father. Go ahead. Open your mouth and say, Lord, provide for them around me. Provide for them and give them the courage to act. Our Father. Come on, shift that prayer to heaven. Who is in heaven? You are the source of the rest of it. You are the source of the rest of it. You know you want to make that step of faith, but you believe that you are the source. God said, no, he is in heaven. Heaven is the source. Lift up your hands and give it to heaven. Say, Lord, let heaven come upon those around me. Now begin to worship him. Hallow his name right now. Don't worry about the stuff you need. Just begin to worship him. And those of you who are in your seat, stand up with them and begin to worship God. Every one of us need prayer and we need to pray. Come on, lift those hands. Everyone begin to hollow his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
we worship you you are holy and powerful and awesome you are the source of everything that I need you are my daily provider you are omnipotent omniscient you are God of all that is and is to come all things belong to you come on rich begin to reach out and worship him hollow his name Bible says name is above every name this is it out of this one service is going to come owners of property owners of businesses owners of buildings owners of investments out of this one meeting will come college students that will go out and change the world I prophesy that you will have everything you need when you need it it's a promise from your king worship your king this is the day you will be bold you will be courageous you're gonna stand out and do this thing you're gonna sign those papers you're gonna tell them yes I want it I want it I want it for the kingdom's sake step out in faith worship you. I worship you come on stir your faith up he is a faithful God you at home you use your faith Step out in faith and do that thing you are afraid to do. Do it because He will provide. Everything you need when you need it shall be provided. Trust Him for what you cannot see. There's a banquet behind the fish and the loaves. There's a banquet behind those five loaves and two fishes. There's a banquet behind those five loaves of two fishes there's a banquet behind those five loaves of two fishes there's a banquet behind the five loaves of two fishes there's a banquet behind the five loaves of two fishes there's a banquet behind the five loaves of two fishes there's a banquet to feed thousands behind the, the fish and the loaves use your fish and loaves today give it to him step out and do it Come on, 